All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tasker and KOWP along with a Tasker plugin called Auto Tools to quickly change your colors right directly from your custom live wallpaper. So if I come down here to my little color icon, if I want to change all my green stuff to something else different, let's change it to uh, a yellow perhaps, and we can also adjust the transparency. So notice the green should change everything to yellow. All my stuff that I had that was green should now be yellow. See the little yellow buttons here. Um, if I want to change this red stuff, I'm going to go back to my color. I'm going to tap this guy here that's red. Let's change this to a light blue and let's make it completely non-transparent. I'm going to show you how to do all this stuff in a second. And notice um, some things did change to light blue. If I go back to my list, now that stuff is light blue as well. So I had this color, you know, going to a couple of different pieces on my custom live wallpaper. Here's the plus side to this. Maybe some of you have already messed around with changing colors on your custom live wallpaper by using just KOWP. The thing is, though, if you go back into KOWP, you mess around, you add some new items. If you didn't apply those color changes to your globals directly, those color changes don't get saved, not to my knowledge. So you have to go back and reset your colors again. Um, well, now this fixes that. Let me show you uh, what you're going to need to do all of this. Um, so... Things first, okay, obviously KOWP and Tasker. Uh, also, Tasker plugin, uh, go ahead and join this community. This guy makes some great plugins. He has quite a few of them. J-O-A-O-M-G-C-D, I, I don't know his name, but uh, he's very active in his own little uh, Tasker G Plus community. It's almost 40,000 strong. And the plugin you're going to need, first of all, go to the Play Store and get auto apps. And then once you get auto apps, what you're going to want to do is get auto tools but let me show you where that is um, so there's the auto apps and then inside of here get the auto tools and he has a couple of other nice uh, plugins as well maybe I'll do some more tutorial tutorials on these if you uh, ask me to but nonetheless uh, auto tools is what we want from there and auto tools is going to allow us to get the color there's two ways we can get the color here one you can use this that's going to be recognized by auto tools the OL color picker I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below so that you can find this but uh, there's the web address up there open intense color picker um, if you search on the Play Store hopefully that will pop up uh, this one here is the one that I use because and as you can see the OL color picker is actually what pops up let me change this little uh, bar that you see here so if I tap on that let's make it um, more like a purplish color and let's set the transparency that little wheel that you saw just pop up where I picked the color that's the OL color picker and I'm gonna make this not make it kinda almost completely transparent notice it did change that bar but those are the things we need if you don't want OL color picker, that's fine. There is a way to work around that. I'm going to show you that as well in this tutorial. So let's go into Tasker. We're going to start this first inside of Tasker. I'm going to create a new little project down here to keep my stuff organized. And let's call it uh, Task Color KOWP. All right, so I got a brand new project, no task in here, no variables are created, no scenes, no profiles. Let's add a task. We don't have to create profiles for this. So I'm going to add a task, and I'm going to call this square, because I'm going to go back into KOWP once uh, I get all this stuff set up, and I'm going to uh, create a, a, just a blank preset to show you how we can do this stuff rather quickly. So in this task that I called square, I need to add a plugin, and I need to pick auto tools. <clears throat> Under Auto Tools, we need to select Dialog. Let's go to the configuration. And this will take you into Auto Tools, assuming you've downloaded it. Dialog type, we want color. And then we also want to pick the transparency. That's going to allow us to slide that little bar that you saw a moment ago to adjust the transparency of the color that we pick. Now notice here, once you check that box, it's going to say percent %AT color is going to be the color that we picked. That's what we're going to have to remember <clears throat> right here in a second. Well, actually right now. I'm going to go to plus, let's add another uh, action, and what we want to do now is we want to do variable set, and I'm going to set, I'm going to create a new variable here, and I'm going to use a global, so I'm going to call it 
square. Why not? I'm going to be changing the color of a square if you uh, couldn't guess that by now. And then two, what do we want to set that to? We want to set it to that variable AT color that we're getting from the color picker that we're doing. All right. And to test this, let's go ahead and do a flash. Let's make sure everything works. And let's flash percent square. All right, and before we do anything else, let's just test and make sure this works. Now, every once in a while when I test things, I find that it doesn't work perfectly, but then it ends up working just fine. Let's see what we get here. Before we jump into that, notice if I go to vars, percent square is now a variable that we have here, but it's not set to anything. So if I go back to my task and I test run it, let's pick a color, let's adjust the transparency, and let's press OK. And notice, look, boom, it's flashing that. That is a color code, and that's what's going to get sent to KLWP. Well, how do we send it? I've done this in several Tasker videos where we go to Add, we go to Plugin, KLWP, Send Variable, and we want to configure this. What do we want to send over? We want to send over that color code, that hex code thing that you just saw flash across the screen, and that is stored in Tasker as percent square, not squeaked. Now you can call the custom variable whatever you want. I'm just going to call it SQ, short for square, just showing you you don't have to name them the same thing. So what's going to happen now is it's going to send, once we do all this stuff, I'm going to cut this one off because everything seems to be working nice. But once we run this task, it's going to pop up that dialog that you saw a moment ago. Whatever color we pick, it's going to set that to percent square. And then it's going to send that color code that you saw. It's going to send it over to KOWP, and we apply this to whatever item that we want to apply color to. <clears throat> Sorry. So um, some other things, too. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time as well. And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you the thing without color, the OL color picker as well. As well. Uh, let's clone this. And... Oh, i got to rename it. That's right. So clone, let me call this one um, circle. Okay, inside of here, I want to run the same stuff, but now I want to set this to a different variable. That way, you don't have to do all this. You can actually make them all the same name, but this is just a way to keep them all separate. I mean, if that helps you. So it's going to take that uh, AT color that we picked now. It's going to name it 2% circle. I don't need to flash this at all. I'm just going to cut that completely out. And now let's go to this send variable and let's call this one or let's use the variable circle and let's just call it CIR. I'm just going to call this one circle. Why not? You can call it whatever you want for your custom variable, but make sure you're using the correct task or string and that's the variable that we're creating. Um, I'll tell you what, let's give it a test run. I'm um, we'll back out of here, go to my VARs. Notice square does have a color code set to it. Circle does not. We could definitely flash this again, but I'm just going to run it, and I'm going to pick a color real quick. I'm going to pick a blue. Check that. Set the transparency on up a little bit high. Boom, boom, boom. It sent it to KOWP. That's great. Now let's go over to VARs, and notice we do have two color codes that are now set, one for circle and one for square. Now, if you don't like that OL color picker, uh, I'll tell you what. Let me show you what happens if you don't get OL color picker. Maybe I should have mentioned this sooner, but if I'm going to go change something in my applications, and let me go to default applications, set as default, and I have the OL color picker set as default, but if I disable this, it's going to use the color picker that's built into AutoTools. Color picker, this thing right here, is the one that's bringing up that little wheel for you to select the color that you want. But let me go down here. I forget. Was it? There it is right there. OL color picker. Notice it's set as default. So if I clear defaults and then I exit out of this, and I'm going to go back into Tasker now. Watch what's going to happen when we test running one of these things now. I'm going to go to my task. Let's run square. Now watch what's going to happen. It's going to ask me to pick which color I want or which one I want to do. Color picker is the one that I've already showed you. Auto tools, the way you pick colors with this one is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to set it auto tools now. And okay, it's changed to default. And look at this color picker. 
it's more of those uh, materialistic kind of colors. So you don't get the color wheel, but at least we do still get, you know, pretty much every type of color you could want to pick from. Um, so I'm going to pick an, an orange. We still, we still get to pick the transparency as well. And hopefully it will send this over to KLWP. And we're going to test this right here in a second. So if I go to my VARs, notice we still have variable set there. How do we get these things to show up in KLWP? Well, I'm going to start with a blank preset. I'm going to leave everything alone and let's just go ahead and add two shapes real quick. There's my square. Uh, let's go over to paint and let's apply a code to our paint. Uh, maybe I should be using my mouse a little bit. So go to the calculator and let's broadcast for that variable. The way we broadcast for the variable, if we go down here to the bottom, you have broadcast receiver. We want to use tasker. And since this is my square, remember, I called my square when my custom variable, I called it SQ. Notice it's already flashing that color code. And hopefully if I check this, it's bam, look, there it is. There's that weird orange with some transparency that I applied to it. It's already there. Now, how can we actually change this with uh, from our advanced editor? What we're going to have to do here, you can create buttons to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a touch directly to this square. So I'm going to apply my touch. I'm going to pick a task shortcut, or excuse me, launch shortcut. And then I'm going to go down to task shortcut. Now what we're going to have to do here, since I didn't apply, okay, square is the one that I want. And I'm going to have to apply icon, otherwise KOWP is not going to let me use it or something like that. So uh, built-in icon, let's just choose the gingerbread man. All right, so now let's save this. Let's go back to the home screen. And let's see what happens. So when I touch this square, it should bring up the color picker. As you can see, it is, it's running that task. It's bringing up this auto tools dialog. I'm going to pick a light blue. Let's make it completely non-transparent. Let's click OK. Let's see if it sends it over. Bam, now it's blue. And here's the cool thing about it. Uh, in KLWP, even though I opened this back up, you would say, oh, I thought I was going to save it. Sometimes this does not update um, as quickly as maybe you would like it to. But if I were to uh, close KLWP real quick and then open KLWP back up, I've been doing this quite a bit um, lately too. Notice it is picking up the blue. And all it's doing is just pulling that variable from Tasker. So Tasker is what's actually saving the variable, not KLWP. KLWP is just uh, intercepting that thing that it's getting sent over. I hope that makes sense. Let's go through this one more time with the uh, circle. So what I could do actually is just copy paste and I'm going to take this one and position it at the bottom and let's make our shape a circle all right some things we want to change now go into our code change our broadcast it's not SQ anymore I think I call this one circle and notice it's already picking it up because I've already sent those variables when I was testing this task just a moment ago press check um, let me go over to touch Let's make sure we change the task shortcut that we want to do. So I'm going to go to task shortcut and I want to pick circle now. There's circle. And this is now, if I click apply right now, it's going to say, hey, you got to pick an icon. That's what I was talking about a while ago. So I'm going to pick the, uh, the penguin. All right, cool. Got it. It's applied. Let's save it. Let's go back to the home screen. And now we, we have two different colors because this is pulling whatever set for circle. So I'm going to tap on that. It's going to open up the Auto Tools color picker. Let's set it to a yellow and let's make it completely non-transparent. As you can see, it's doing that one and that one only. If I come back up here to the square, click on it. If I want to make it a... Let's do something that's kind of transparent once we do it. So I'm just going to tap some random red color. And if I slide that over a little bit, now what we have here, this shape that you see, you might say, well, it don't look transparent to me. But if I go into KLWP and notice, okay, notice now again, it's still keeping that burgundy-ish transparent color. It's just not showing up in the advanced editor. Trust me, it's still there. If I add a text item and I bump this size up, 
and I'm going to do it something like that. If I slide this behind, you may say, oh, it's not transparent. But remember, we did change that color back on our home screen. I'm saving it. Now, notice it's not going to keep this blue. It's going to still keep that same color from Tasker. And as you can see, that is clearly transparent. Um, that 421 is behind this square, but that square is transparent. I hope that makes sense. Um, just apply a color to it real quick. Let's make it not quite as transparent. Let's see what happens there. See? Boom. Now, to kind of recap one more time, too, if you like the other color picker better, the OL color picker, just go into Applications, uh, go to Defaults, and now Auto Tools is set as my default. So I'm going to have to go to Auto Tools and actually cut it off. Now watch what happens if we do this. So Auto Tools is set as a default. I'm going to clear my defaults. I'm going to go back to my home screen. Now watch what happens if we go to pick a color. I'm going to change this color of this circle down here. Let me tap on that and it's going to ask me which one do I want to use. Auto Tools gives you more like the list of the colors we just scrolled through. Color Picker is going to give you the actual color wheel. So let's go ahead and change this color to a green and see if it actually applies it. I'm going to cut my transparency completely non-transparent and notice we do have a green there. And again, you know, you go into KLWP, even if you don't see those same colors applied, okay, it did refresh it quite nicely there, but sometimes it doesn't refresh. Remember, you can quickly close KLWP, KLWP completely, open it back up, and bam, you're right back in business. But uh, yeah, that's how you can quickly change colors using Tasker, uh, Auto Apps, Auto Tools, and maybe even OL Color Picker um, to adjust those colors right from your custom live wallpaper. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.